this GoPro is going to ride back here where it is. You got on enough clothes, Warburton. Yes, you know how to dress. I don't need to <coughs> I'm not, treat I mean, you I'm like getting, my children, I don't right? cold. I don't need you shivering, making that camera shake, mess up our footage. I'll be that on my own without being cold. The old side by side's got a load today. All right, it's March 13th. We're going out with Reed and Elizabeth this morning. Luke got his turkey the other day and now we gotta try to help them get one. It's cold this morning. We had a big front push through yesterday. Bunch of rain. Rain pretty, pretty much all day. Thunderstorms and wind and everything. But it's broke pretty clear this morning. It's cold. A little bit of a breeze out of the north, but they ought to be gobbling this morning. Ted and Jake are with Keith Pope. They're going into that area that they burned, I think. And then uh, Nick and Riser are out scouting this morning, trying to find some turkeys. It's been great youth seasons thus far, so just gotta find one that's in the right mood this morning. So it rained all day yesterday, pretty much. It's the following day, and we're gonna head back to where we did that burn with Keith, and there should be turkeys all over it by now, I think. <laughs> oh, if they got downwind of it, they ought to be in there. You see that smoke, smell that smoke, they come running, so. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that bug? <laughs> it's right there in front of you. Giant mosquito. Hello. He's all right. Got him. See that? Probably knocks it so fast. Oh yeah. Kill him. That wasn't very nice. First harvest of the morning. <laughs> Hopefully that ain't the only one. But this is the big cool down. Everybody's been kind of waiting for that. Front came through yesterday and it's 44 this morning. I don't know what the temperatures have been in the mornings. Not this chilly. No. I know that. See. <laughs> get up, boy. <laughs> He's like, this guy isn't sitting by me today. still be seasick from riding a limb during the storm. There we go. Pretty good ways off. Mm -hmm. Was it that way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See he's up on a small hubbub. Woo! 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 Two of them. He's fine. Hens were closer, they're between us and the gobblers. Yeah, I think they're just they're either they flew down, they're either on the move or they're with hens. Yeah, they're there. Gobbling there. I think y'all ought to go try to find one doing something other than I think these are going to be a slow play. Me and Reed split up from Thrash and Elizabeth and Greg. They were going after those turkeys that we heard right off the roost. But I'm pretty sure that I heard one gobble back this way. He's way back in here, but me and Reed are gonna go see what we can do with him. You're gonna owl hoot at him here in a minute. Look here. There's gobbler poop right here in this road. Those might even been this morning, Reed. There's poop. That's fresh too. Group of hens have been crossing right here. Real yeah. fresh tracks. Just just this morning or yesterday. He's big. What the heck is that? That's a nice one. <laughs> Good grief. No blood on it. Thank 
that's a nice buck there, Reed. All right, turn loose one of your owl hoots quick. Oh, 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 oh. Well, me and Reed struck out. We heard a turkey gobble a few times over on the neighbor's property. He only gobbled a couple times, then he completely shut up. We found a bunch of real fresh hen tracks in the road back there that were left either last night or first thing this morning. And Reed also found this. Whoa, dude. Oh yeah. That'll be a good one for me next year. You know that one? That's old split toe, ain't it? Mm-hmm. There's that one eye. <laughs> no, I don't know this one. Pretty buck. Oh yeah. I found it the way I usually find sheds pretty near. About stepped on it. Kicked it over. Well, and Reed said when we found that, he's like, well, that'll make the morning right there. <laughs> it's real fresh. It was from last night to this morning. Because it rained like an inch and a half yesterday, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Did you hear that? Sound like it might have been down in there. There was one over there. That was definitely a turkey. That's a turkey. I heard them. I ain't so sure that I didn't hear one down there. Really? Yeah, and when I thought I heard it, Elizabeth was like, yeah. Yeah, I heard one there. Yeah, one on either side. Is that. It's possible, yeah. How many spots have we checked so far, Reed? Oh, about 50. Yeah, we've stopped a bunch, haven't we? Daddy, should we move the golf cart back? Yeah, y'all get your stuff and I'll back it up. Just heard one over there and one over here. We got turkeys on both sides of the roads. Got up here and Yelp saw gobble tracks back there. Daddy yelped and they gobbled. He's, he's on that ridge. He's on that ridge right there. Did you hear him? Yeah, he ain't very far. He might even be coming. Yeah, look at him running. <laughs> he's running down here. He's running, boy. He's excited. They may be coming to this road. We need to get a, get a right there, oh, we? yeah, he. There's a big tree right there. I think we can get. Is that that turkey? Yeah, there's definitely two. That, that one's right there. I'll try to get right up here. We need, we're gonna have to set up just three of us gonna have to go up there and make the killing set. And two of y'all's gonna have to get back, maybe get right over there. He's hammered, boys. Get up there and get ready. Aaron, you get by and I'll sit right back here. Okay.
stuck up. He's not too far. Okay. But you need to make sure you don't shoot a Jake. Okay. You got to make sure there's no other turkey. Jake was right there. And we were waiting for the gobbler to walk out in that opening. And the gobbler stayed behind that tree. Right there. Dang it, Reed. I was set up facing that way. Because that's where he gobbled. And so I was like this. And he was behind that tree the whole time. See this dead one right yeah. here? That Jake come out through that little gap. Yeah. And he was, his bead was right there on that Jake. And he turned around and went to run the rest of them Jakes off. <laughs> oh man, that one got me shaking, dude. Look at my. He was sitting there. If it would have just been him coming in, we'd have killed him. He was sitting there going. I thought those Jakes were going to, I thought those Jakes were going to bring him in here. It was fine. Can't complain. Got close, didn't we? Mm-hmm. There's another one on the other side of the road. Fixing to go try. So Let's go up here. This is with Greg and it. Elizabeth. That was close, so. Real close. Huh? I the spoons weren't quite long enough on them, were they? <laughs> That's the only reason we figured you didn't shoot. Well, we were sure wanting to find out. <laughs> we're just giving you a bad time. Did see him? Yeah. Yeah, we saw him. Um, Are you shaking, Reed? I was. I still am. <laughs> I think I am a little bit, too. I'm sitting here like this. It don't get much better than that. Watching up Strutter through. come up to a bottom yeah, like that. Hammering. It's pretty watching him come up through there. I got footage of you guys and the bird all in the same frame. I thought you were, that's right about when you were getting to shoot. Well, like there was just, it, was, it would be like there, this. Like I was sitting up and he was about 25 yards away and there was a dead tree and he was blocking me the whole time. And the next chance we had was when he was in full strut at 45 yards and he had a Jake right next to him. So he, no, we don't want to shoot especially that far with a, in a full strut or when he's got three or four Jakes around him. Oh, no, you did good. Way you did the right thing. We were watching. Way to be yeah, they know, oh, yeah. they not bothered. They, yeah. be, they ain't going nowhere. No. Let's grab our stuff and ease down to the end of this ridge and see if that one will answer. If he won't, we'll just back out. I just heard him. That's it for the morning. That's about as close as you can get to one, I think, without killing them. There was just too many jakes in the fold there for yeah. him to get a clear shot. And the one chance that he was going to have, that the gobbler just stood behind a dead tree down there for us. He did good. Yeah, did real good. Having that discipline.
Yeah, that's right. Not to force something. That was good. Didn't booger them up too bad either, I don't think. Those no. jakes just got a little budgy. Yeah. The gobbler was still gobbling and strutting when he was walking off. Yeah. Back to the house we go. Good, that's the kind of heads we need. She is coming down the road. Two days ago in here with Keith. 
All right, we hunted back in here this morning with Keith and Colin, or I did. There's a bunch of turkeys. We had four hens fly down right in front of us, and then there's turkeys gobbling all over the place. But now we're gonna go back in here to the same place we hunted and do a burn. Ted and I don't have much experience with this stuff, but Mr. Polk here does. He's done a bunch of it, so we're gonna ask him some questions and probably learn a whole bunch here about burning, I'd say. This area right here, there's about 15 acres in a strip here that we burned last year. And then I intentionally, I left this block and this block. I didn't burn those. I don't think I've burned those for the last two years. And then there's a little block on the other side of it that was burned last year. So just as a little test fire, we're gonna burn this little, probably three acres right here. We're gonna light it up and burn and see how it does. And then I've got a much bigger block over here that uh, if this does pretty good, we'll probably light up about 30 acres right here and go ahead and knock that out. Cool. Um, it seems gonna, like you got a little bit of something for everything with the three year, or the that's three right. year cycle or two or three year cycle. Cause like that stuff that you said you hadn't burned in two or three years, like you get into that, there's a bunch of deer sign. Yep. You know, yep. I saw a couple skeletons and yep. seeing rubs and trails yep. and stuff like that. And, and the landowner is a big deer hunter. And so I try to keep that in mind. He, he, he's, he leaves it up to me, you mm -hmm. know, to burn when I want to burn. And, but he is, uh, He's a big fan of the burning since I started. He says his deer hunting has been better, but he's always had good deer hunting down mm -hmm. in, in this this area. So we got a wind out of the southeast. And so what what I'm gonna do is walk a little little ways down there. I wanna kinda start on the north end and let the wind, the fire work into the wind. Mm -hmm. That's called a backing fire. And so that it kinda gives a little cushion. So when I do come over here and set more of a head fire, and it pushes that way, it runs into what's already blacked out. When you get a little heavier woody um, fuel, you know, like sweet gums and miscellaneous hardwood stuff, you're gonna want the wind to push it a little more and build the intensity, of, you know. Water. Of course, with the intensity, you want your pine trees to be a little bigger too, so you don't scorch your keel mm -hmm. loads, but. That took off fast and then it seems like it slowed down a little bit. Yeah. It's going to do that with as much green as in here, but if you've listened to uh, some of the more popular podcasts on habitat stuff, it's you're going to get a better kill when it's green like it is. And even more so later in the year, I just don't have a lot of experience burning like in you know May, June, July. In my opinion, you just have to be so much more careful with sure. studying your fire weather and your fuel load that time of year because mm -hmm. humidity can bottom out and you know down here you've got 90 degree days 95 degree days and that's just you better know what you're doing uh -huh. before you light a fire in those conditions what are you looking for with the smoke just lifting kind of have to be further away from it to see but you just want to see the smoke lifting out of the out of the timber uh -huh. and uh, getting up and getting out educate us mr drip man <laughs> Walk to this tree and stop is what he said. That's all I know. <laughs> They're not having fun. No, this ain't no fun. Now we need to let Tia burn. Get me on Good the drip turn. torch. It will be my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Because I probably can burn my fingers. <laughs> you would burn your fingers. Burn my fingers on fabric. And your toes. If you want to, we can drip some fire in this triangle right here. You yeah, want to do it? I'll You're do up. it. Sure. <laughs> on that fire on that stump or that log. Mm -hmm. And it'll catch on fire and then you can just walk around that triangle right there and light it up. It goes from unusable turkey habitat to turkey habitat in the blink of an eye. Yep. And it it was usable. It you know there's uh, probably more nesting cover than anything, but we're we're not lacking really nesting cover here. But at the same time, you don't want to burn off 200 acres and at one time, you know. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if you got to, you do. But this just sets up so well to to fragment and just uh, yeah, stage you have the a, burns. You have a bunch of diff different year burns in close proximity. A lot of diversity. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so which is what turkeys need it all close together, way closer than deer. Man, yeah. Like a lot of the road, mm -hmm. right? That's what it seems like. What do you think of that? Well, we didn't knock on a door. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, their place right there, I think. Yeah. Seems like maybe some of them was more likely up at the shop there, though, huh? Yeah, that windshield place. Yeah, it's the same landowner. You're going to go ask him, Colin? Yeah, we're like, hey, mister, I got my two older <laughs> brothers in the truck. Can we go kill that dog? <laughs> That'll probably work. Never killed a turkey before. <laughs> Let's go. 
All right, we just uh, quit for the morning hunt and we're heading to a new property to do a little bit more turkey hunting before we call it quits for the day. On our way up there, we just spotted a long beard right off the road here. So Jake and Colin jumped out and they're asking this landowner if we can go back there and hunt him. Looked like a lonely gobbler crossing this field. He might be crossing the road right now. So that's a good sign. We didn't get into any goblin action this morning. Had a bunch of hens come by, but that's about it. So see if they got permission or not. Did you get it? <laughs> Gotta go across the road. He said yeah. there's a four bearded one. Is there? <laughs> he said, is it the double bearded one? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> my eyes got big when he said that. Like, you ever shot one with four beards? Mm -mm. I don't yeah, even think my dad has. <laughs> <I'm fresh. laughs> All right, we're headed into Keith's other spot here now. This is where Ted and I hunted with him in Thrash last year. So we kind of got a idea of what we want to do. I talked to Keith. We're just gonna we're just gonna work through these roads here, calling, try and strike something up. Keith told us where the birds were at about 10:30 the other morning. There, right around this food plot. So we're just gonna work the property line towards that, and hopefully they're doing the same thing. And the sun popped out, and it's still cool. It just feels real pretty out. We we're all talking with the car. It just feels right. Hopefully, we can strike something up here late in the morning. Seeing that gobbler. Uh, Strong across the field by himself was definitely encouraging. Let me see it. Was it a, like body or rack? Rack. I, I didn't see him. I just saw his tail. Yeah, that was big. I, I saw him in my glass as that one pulled up. Is that what you're looking at before? It was a doe, but there's probably three or four of them that ran, but I saw him and as soon as he popped out, he was better than the thing. That was huge. Yeah. Show me the footage. <laughs> Come back in here and hunt that thing down. Big. That's a big boy there. Biggest one I've ever seen in Mississippi. I didn't even see him anything other than this, but I can tell. I, I didn't even need the binoculars to tell he was a big buck. I, yeah, I just saw his tail and I was glassing and he came out behind that tree and he was like, <laughs> probably like that. Yeah. Or, like that even. Wider, I think, and taller. Yeah, something like this, man. <laughs> That's big. <laughs> Let's go find a turkey. <laughs> Maybe you drop one of those antlers. Stay the course. You got a turkey on the back of the truck? It looks that way, doesn't it? Nope, weed whacker. A lot cooler if you did. That's gonna do it for us today. It is almost one o'clock in the afternoon and me, Colin, and Jake have been out after the turkeys pretty much all morning. We saw three hens this morning, close to where we did that burn the other day. Yeah, that one seemed like it was roosted right in it already. Yeah, all the turkeys that we saw were right on the edge of the burn, so that's good to see. After that, we looped over to this other property and we made a loop through there. Didn't get on any turkeys, saw a bunch of sign in there, but we did jump one really big Mississippi buck, so. That's pretty encouraging to see. And Have, saw a lone long beard. That was nice to see as well, I think. Yeah, on the way over here, we ran into a long beard that was all by himself walking across the field. We tried to get permission, but we couldn't get it. You think they would have said yes? Probably. Because of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What were you going to say to him? That's right. Mister, <laughs> can I turn you in your land? I'm from Alaska. We don't get me in any of those. <laughs> get that squeak in your voice. Hopefully, we can try and ask permission again, because I'd say that'll probably work. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to Subway. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go get some Subway since we don't have any turkey breast to eat on. We'll see you guys later. He was just like, I'm just letting you know, Aaron kills bigger bucks, so I might need to go hunting with him. I'm like, well, Aaron's a busy man. <laughs> <laughs> really nice to meet you guys. Good luck to y'all. Hey, nice thank to meet you. you. Thanks for stopping, guys. Welcome, nice to meet you, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Hey, shake your hands. Yep, nice to meet you, Wanda. Good luck. Good luck, man. Thank you.